Ladies and gents, welcome back. Over the years, there have been several individuals that have contributed to the betterment of mankind or people kind, as Justin Trudeau likes to call it. Nelson Mandela ended apartheid in South Africa. Mahatma Gandhi was able to get the British out of India. We had Rosa Parks, who would not sit at the back of the bus. And today, ladies and gents, we have a non-binary individual who wants a haircut. This story comes from a little mountain town in British Columbia called Squamish, BC. This town is famous for, and I'm not joking, lumber sports. Their uh, claim to fame is logging, and uh, they're, they host one of the largest logger sports international events in the world. Uh, and of course, this event is inclusive. That, of course, is the reality. This coming from their local newspaper in British Columbia made uh, made waves on Twitter. <laughs> Non-binary customer denied a haircut at Squamish Barbershop. Barber says he wants to keep his shop strictly a male barbershop. And this is the story. Uh, of course, you see the, the rainbow uh, background that's at crosswalks that are popping up all over the country just a few mo uh, months after returning to Canada after living abroad Lindsay Petley Reagan s decided to move to Squamish Petley Reagan who self-identifies as non-binary said they previously lived in Vancouver which is, they described as a queer friendly and liberal when they came to Squamish and saw the rainbow crosswalk in the heart of downtown they expected to be welcome welcomed just the same. In <laughs> in need of a haircut, Petley Reagan entered a sh the Chicago Hair Gallery, which is just a few steps from the crosswalk. I went in with very high expectations that I could probably just sit down and get my haircut right there. They said. So they, just so you, just to be clear, when you hear the word they in this in this uh, context, they're referring to this individual. So individuals who. Um, identify as non-binary go by they and them pronouns, not she, her, his, or him. So that is the reason for the confusing um, grammar structure here. I was shocked when he had no hesitation at all. He said, no, you can't get your hair cut here. After some further discussion, Petley decided to leave now, I, I take that as <laughs> argued and then uh, took their business elsewhere. Uh, Petley Re Reagan took their business elsewhere, but was uneasy about what happened after talks with some supportive friends and seeing the pride flag being raised at Squamish Municipal Hall. They decided they should talk about what happened to them, i.e. go to the media and complain. This is not this is not appropriate. When I saw the flag going up, <laughs> sorry, this is being said again. When I saw the flag going up for Pride Month, I was like, maybe I have a second chance here, Petley Reagan said. The barber, Tony uh, Bortolo, who also owns Chicago Hair Gallery. <laughs> now, mind you, this is a small independent business that it seems like it's been there for a long, long time said he caters to men exclusively. I want to keep it as a barbershop, strictly as a male barbershop, Bortolo said, adding that he has been a barber for approximately 53 years. This is a barbershop and I do male hair. It's as simple as that. When asked if perhaps someone with short hair might be deemed the best person to cut for short hair, he responded, that's true, that's true, but he also said that female saloons would be able to do that, sh the short hairstyles, just as well as him. Bortolo offered to Petley Regan that if they could not find another place that they would cut their hair. This is, see, the gram see how the grammar gets confusing? The, <laughs> I gotta say that again, that if they could not find another place that, to cut their hair, then he would cut their hair. Overall, however, Bortolo insisted that he did not want to cut women's hair. Now, what happens if I give one, one female a haircut and then another female, then another female, and then all of a sudden I have a lot of females 
<laughs> that want short haircuts, they just want short hair, they're in here, said Bortolo. Now I've got all these females and my customers, all male customers, have gone away. I'm going to lose my customers. <laughs> I had four or five females come in. I turned them all down. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is a male barbershop. Now, so this is being portrayed as if uh, this is some sort of thing against uh, LGBT or something like that, non-binary individuals. I think it's just straight up anyone who presents as a uh, biological female human being, I think is the term, uh, female adult human. Um, he does not do, he, he serves male customers identifying as male and presenting as male, I believe is what he's getting at. Uh, Greg Robbins, the executive director of the beauty council said he was unsure if the salons and barbershops are geared towards specific genders have had the time to fully adjust. I don't know that the industry has had time to necessarily adjust to it if their services are geared towards men or women, he said. It's inter interesting, the, the repetition of words in this article. Anyway, a spokesperson for Pride Squamish, the local LGBTQ2S plus advocacy organization, said that its members have been working on inclusivity in town. We have been having ongoing conversations with local businesses, the District of Squamish, and our community of allies. We acknowledge that... In, that information is available, but understanding what to do can be confusing, said the statement. We encourage people to try. If you're going to make a mistake, make a mistake by including someone and making space for them to join. In the statement, the statement added that they are here to celebrate and challenge the notion that people should handle incidents on their own. If tough conversations need to happen, we are here to have them with you. Petley Regan pointed out that an organization called Strands, Strands for Trans, which operates a, a map of trans-friendly haircut spaces, at the time, the map shows no locations in Squamish, but several in Vancouver and one in Pemberton. But when it comes down to it, Petley Regan said getting a haircut isn't that simple for them. I do... Do I find a friend who's willing to cut my hair? Do I pay $60 to get the appointment where I feel comfortable? Do I try another barbershop? Petley Reagan questioned. It just isn't easy. Ultimately, Petley Reagan hopes that by telling their story, it will spotlight what <laughs> ways the community can continue to grow. I want to share my story to highlight what that, while <laughs> we had made some great strides, there is still a long way for us to go making sure that people from all walks feel welcome and treated equally. I, I honestly don't understand how this person felt unequally treated. So here we are on Twitter and the, the, let the community speak for themselves. So um, uh, people responding to this article saying, this makes sense. It's a male only barbershop. This isn't a story. I've been turned down by a lot of bar barbers and I identify as 100% female. Good, it can always come to Vancouver and go here. Okay, so there's a link to a Vancouver barbershop where this individual can go. Well, it's a private company. They can do what they want. To which somebody replied, sorry, but no, there is a human rights code. <laughs> They're subject to the human rights code. Uh, we've seen that in recent cases where um, uh, Jessica Simpson uh, was a, a transgender individual who tried suing several locations for... Uh, beauticians for not wanting to wax her balls. That was a thing. It actually went to uh, to court. Uh, I think it was dismissed after all, but it was something that went to court and it held beauticians in uh, and, and made them have to go represent themselves and, and go through a lot of trouble. Uh, but yeah, that was Jessica Yaniv Simpson. Uh, I believe that person was later convicted of uh, some sort of crime uh, recently. True, but a women's women's only gyms have no problem existing under that code. Well, there you go. And uh, apparently there was a women's only gym in that town. Uh, it unfortunately did not survive the COVID uh, years. So that was a thing. Non-binary is not male. Technically, it isn't human either, replied someone. The only belongs... <laughs> the only... 
the only beings capable of being categorized as non-binary or gods. Um, now, that's a really good point. It's uh, Non-binary is not necessarily a male patron, so um, this, this place caters to men, and that's the thing. Wow. Uh, oh, look, a victim. <laughs> Uh, the barber should be allowed to keep his business male only. White middle class people calling themselves they them, plus that then acting like they're an oppressed minority is laughable. Everyone is non-binary. A few years ago, it was just called having a personality. Uh, you nailed it. Gender doesn't exist. Everything is being attributed to gender are just personality traits stereotypically associated with a person's sex. Um, and the comments go on and on and on and on. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check out this. Um, but yeah, this individual, Lindsay Petley Reagan, a biologist, uh, apparently, uh, fascinated by nature, sharing the beauty of science and pondering the assumptions of sexuality, uh, having a hard time getting a haircut in that small mountain town in British Columbia. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this situation. Um, I'm only bringing it to light because they brought it to light themselves. Um, this is uh, on them for <laughs> for making this a public thing. Uh, and I'll stand by that one. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so or consider subscribing now. You can hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I go live. I'm actually going to be going live on a different channel tonight. I'll be on the Allison Morrow channel. Check it out. Uh, that'll be tonight at 6 o'clock Pacific time. Check your local listings. Um, that's when I'll be going live on her channel. But uh, again, on Friday night, our usual Friday night live at 6.30 Pacific time. Check your local listings. That'll be right here on this channel. So check that out. We'll see you in the next video. Keep on trucking.